Welcome to Hash Learning Demo at SAMU. This video is going to introduce our new product, which provides the possibility for children in the hospital to gain access to Sakai using touchscreen interface. You will see the interface which has been developed to make it more interesting to use and to be more appealed to young audience. As you can see, we are now at the login screen. Let's log in as student. Now we are in our main screen. This screen shows the list of the sites which children belong to. On the right part of the screen, there are some icons which allow children to get a quick update the about the latest new feed, including new assignments, assessment, messages, events and announcement. Let's touch on announcement icon. This is the list of new announcements which has been published by teacher within the past three days. As you can see, only one touch allows the children to access some important information. Now we touch the second announcement to see it in more details. The students are provided with identical information as in the traditional Sagai announcement too, but much less complicated elements. They can easily find out the description and download some attachment here. Let's go back to the main screen. Now we are going to enter to the site which student belongs to in order to gain access to more specific information about the site. Children can use score bars to view all the sites which they have. Let's take a look at geography site. Now we, you are presented with a number of basic tools as you get in the normal Sakai platform. As the previous screen, there are some identical icons except that this will retrieve you only the information which belongs to geography module. Let's touch on a new event. We are going to briefly go through each tool and see what they can do. Let's start with calendar. This screen provides you with two lists. The list on the left part of our screen consists of today's events, and the other one has got all the events for the next two weeks of geography module. This helps children to distinguish their priority. Hash learning provides an identical functionality as Sakai's resource tool. It is incredibly easy for children to gain access to important exercises and download them with a few touches. Now let's take a look at assignment two. We can see a bunch of tasks which some critical information including the deadlines of the assignments and their current status. Let's take a look at task three which is currently open. The user can view the details of this task and download some enclosed files as appropriate. Furthermore, he can also complete the task online and submit it to his instructor as he wishes. Let's do this assignment. We'll type in something for assignment text. Let's also add a couple files 
or as its attachments. Quickly review that we have everything and touch submit to send assignment off to the teacher. Now we can see that the status of task one has been changed to submitted. A new box has appeared to indicate the details of the submission, including the date of submission, assignments text, and the enclosed attachment. Now we are going to log out as a student, open Sagai page, and log in as teacher. Enter into geography site, open assignment to, and check on the new delivered inbox. The submission has been received successfully for Miguel. So let's mark this assignment to prove that the mark will be published to our student. Now we swap back to our hash learning screen and lock on our student. Enter geography, assignment to, and open ta the task. We can prove that the grade is shown correctly to the student. This friendly interface also allows the children undertaking an online examination while they stay in a hospital. Exams to give this useful functionality. You now have been given a list of outstanding exams which needs to be completed. The information about maximum mark gives the children an indication what they will be expected. Now we select the exam which we want to do and we are now taken to a Sagai assessment page. Finally, we are going to learn how message to can give such a powerful way of communications to children, parents, and teachers. Let's see what is in received. Here are some messages from a teacher and a parent. There are the one that is from teacher to welcome the people to the course. Let's reply to say thank you. Type in some text and touch OK to reply. Now we are back to the message summary screen. Let's check on the list of sent messages. Now we can see that it has been replied. As always, let's prove that the teacher has received Miguel's reply correctly. And yes, there is message from Miguel to say thank you. Now we're going to get teacher to re reply to Miguel to say you're welcome and see you on Monday.
Lock on as a Miguel, as our student. In the received inbox. We can see that he has received the response from the teacher and can list the content what inside. Now we are going to create a, a new message. Touch on pen icon. T now touch on boy and girl icon. To select the, the recipient from a list of members of geography. Select Diego. Now we have the destination. Enter the subject. And the contents of the message. Touch OK. The message has been successfully sent. That's all we have got today for you. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching the de our demo. Goodbye.